Winter's coming. It's going to be cold and dreary, more so than ever before because of COVID-19. But you know what? There's a glimmer of light at the end of this dark tunnel because of the two studies that just came out, one from Pfizer, the other from Moderna, pharmaceutical companies, very encouraging results about their vaccines. The vaccines that they're using are very similar, and it's a novel platform. They're based on mRNA, messenger RNA. This is a molecule that acts as a template for the synthesis of proteins. The idea is to inject this into the body, get it into cells, and it will start to synthesize proteins. Which proteins? Well, the ones they have been coded for, and these are the proteins that are found on the surface of the coronavirus, those spikes that you see in the pictures. The idea is that the body itself will start producing uh, these proteins. Antibodies will recognize them as foreign material so that the next time the virus is encountered, those antibodies will fight the virus. And it looks like the technology works. In the case of uh, Pfizer, they had 44,000 subjects divided into two groups. Half of them got placebo, half got the vaccine. Two doses of the vaccine were needed for both, in both of these studies. And after three months, they looked at the number of people who got sick. And in the case of Pfizer, it was uh, uh, 95 or 94. And in the case of Moderna, out of uh, a population of 30,000 that time, it was very similar numbers. So they were both in the middle 90s. So this is where you get this uh, notion of 90 or 95% efficacy, because 90 out of the 95 people who got the disease were in the placebo group. This is very encouraging. But there are some buts, aren't there always? In this case, the number of people who got infected was very low, much lower than what one would expect to see. I think the reason here is that you're dealing with subjects who are very, very health conscious. These are people who would be wearing masks, who would be social distancing, etc. So that's why we see the low rate. And that's something to take away from this study too that masking and distancing works. And then, of course, we're also seeing that the vaccine works. 90, 95%, that is very, very encouraging. But again, this is a preliminary study. Those are relatively small numbers. We're dealing you know, with less than 100 positive cases in each, each study. So we'll have to see how this progresses. But at least we are on the right track. However, don't get the idea that this is going to be like a light switch, that all of a sudden we have the vaccine and everything is going to be fine. There's going to be production problems. The uh, Pfizer vaccine has to be delivered at minus 70 degrees. You need dry ice to do that. The uh, Moderna vaccine, somewhat easier, minus 20 degrees, and you can do that with just regular uh, freezers. However, remember that this does not mean that we can give up all the other measures. We still need to abide by those. And that was underlined by these studies, because I think in these studies, the subjects wore masks, good ones, tight ones, and they abided by social distancing. And that's why we had such a low infection rate. So things are not quite as dark as they were a couple of weeks ago. We'll see what happens, but the results are encouraging.